हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर सॉल्विंग कोड फॉर सिक्स राउंड 881 क्वेश्चन डी इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन अ रूटेड ट्री ऑफ एन वर्टाइसिस विद द रूट इन वर्टेक्स 1 राइट द एप्पल ट्री इज क्वाइट यंग सो ओनली टू एप्पल विल ग्रो ऑन इट एप्पल विल ग्रो इन सर्टेन वर्टाइसिस आफ्टर द एप्पल ग्रो टीम फॉर स्टार्ट शेकिंग द एप्पल ट्री अंटिल द एप्पल विल fall means only two vertex will contain one one apple and it will fall right if vertex u has a child the apple moves to it otherwise the apple fall from the tree right team foy has a q assumption in which vertices apple can grow right he assumes that the apples can grow in vertex x and y and want to know number of pair of vertices from which apple can fall from the tree right so we have to output number of pair of vertices in which apple can fall right let's see the input pattern first line contain the number of test cases and after that the n the number of vertices in the tree and n minus 1 edges of the tree and then q on jumpson means q carry n then Each query we are given a x and y. The so suppose the vertices on which apples will grow, right? So we have to output number of orders pair of vertices from which apple can fall, right? Let's understand the first test case. Here n equal to five and minus one edges are given. In first assumption we are given a three four means. first apple will grow in vertex 3 second apple will grow in vertex 4 right so if first apple grow in vertex 4 so it will only one way it will fall from only vertex 4 if apple will grow in vertex 3 so will fall either from 4 either 4 5 so total number of pairs are 4 4 and 5 4 Let's see second query. In this query, we are given five one, right? So, if apple will grow in vertex five, it can fall from only five. It will if it will grow in one. So one from one, it will go to two, then three, and from three, it can go to four. It can go to five. So pairs are five four and five five, right? in third query we are given 4 4 so only one way it will fall from 4 4 right in fourth query we are given 1 3 1 and 3 if 1 so it will go into 2 2 2 3 and for 3 it either can go to 4 either can 5 so two ways if it will grow in third vertex go to 4 and 5 so total number of pairs are this four right let's understand another test case here query are given 1 1 so 1 is a two leaf node so total number of pair are four means total number of pair are multiplication of both leaf node c 1 is a two leaf node 2 into 2 means four right Four two three two is a no leaf node means one. Now three is a no leaf node means one. So one into one equal to one, right? Four three one three is a no leaf node means one into one is a leaf two leaf node one into two means two number of order pair, right? Let's see another test case here. Four three four. 4 as a one leaf node and 3 as a one leaf node right so answer come out to be 1 for 2 1 2 as a two leaf node and 1 as a two leaf node so it will be 4 and for 4 it has one leaf node 2 as two leaf node so it will be 2 so our main target is to finding leaf node for every vertex right one is a two leaf node two is a two leaf node 
4 as a one lip node, 3 as a one lip node, and 5 as a one lip node. Let's see the approach by which we can find the lip node. For finding lip node, if any vertex all element are visited, so it is lip node. Let's understand by test case. First we will call DFS to 1. So it will make visited to 2. So 2 will are visited. Then 2 will call to DFS to 3. So 3 is visited, right? So I mark all 3 to visited. Then 3 will call DFS to 4 and mark it to visited, right? Now, 4 will, 4 is the only one element which is visited. So, 4 is lip node, right? And now, it will call to DFS to 5 and make 5 to visited. 5 has the one element 3 visited. So, 5 is also lip node, right? Let's see the code part. First I take the visited array, then adjacency list, then the array CD for saving total number of leap node. We declare every variable to global variable. So every time we have to do visited of i equal to pole, then clear the adjacency list and total leap node of i equal to 0, right? And then I call the DFS. I call DFS for saving leap node for all vertices. In DFS, what we have to see, if any vertices all element are already visited, so we will increment the leap node. For that, I will take flag equal to true. If it will can't go in this if, so it all element are already visited, so I will increment the leap node then return it otherwise without increment I will return it right then I will get the all vertices leap node then I will multiply of both and then I print it thank you